What's up guys, Game Night here, and welcome back to week 16 of my NFL regular season predictions. Now, let's go ahead and of course, take a look at last week, and as you guys can see, man, this is actually worst case scenario. So the entire year, we have been ahead of Madden 19 with our overall records. We have had more games guessed correctly than they have up until this point. As you guys can see on the left hand side, last week, I did absolutely pathetic. It's atrocious how bad I did. I only got six games correct and 10 wrong. I did horrible, man. I knew last week that I was going to do really bad. I was sick last week, and even at some point during that video, I even said, like, I feel like I'm going to be wrong on so many of my picks. It sucks, man. So now because of that, our record sits at 123, 99, and 2. And on the right-hand side from Ad 19, as you guys can see, they killed it. They ended up getting 11 games correct. That's five more than us. That puts them now at a record of 125, 97, and 2. Now, I'm only going to go up by a couple of, I think, well, wait, let me see here. So, they got five incorrect, and you guys might notice that the losses only goes up by four instead. That's because I, I did notice that I made a mistake. I looked back, and it was like in week 11 or 12. Like, I wasn't, it wasn't adding up when I was looking at it just now. So, I went back, I found the mistake, and I accidentally gave them an extra loss. So, they currently sit, like I said, at 125, 97. 7 and 2 and right now this is the first time throughout the entire year where Mad 19 has taken a lead on us with the overall record they have a two game lead on us man and there are only two weeks left to go of the season guys it's crunch time I cannot be falling at this point all the way up until now 15 weeks I was ahead and just like this all of a sudden I could lose the overall record to Mad 19. All right, guys, so here we go. Our week 16 predictions, like I said before, it is crunch time. We cannot be getting only six games guessed correctly once again. I mean, just, I, I can't even, not, I cannot believe we are in this situation right now, and, and we're behind Mad 19 in the overall record. But, of course, we, we do have our first games of the week, which is our Saturday games. No more Thursday night football. That is officially done for the year, which, you know, does suck a little bit. But right now, I am recording this uh, late Friday night. The, the Saturday games obviously ha have not happened yet for me. Um, but I'm still going to be uploading this on Sunday, so I know when you guys are watching this, it's going to seem like the Saturday games already happened, and I'm making my predictions before or after those games already happened, which I promise you guys I'm not. Whether or not you want to believe me, that's your own personal choice. I don't really care. I'll still put up a tweet on screen because I'm probably not going edit to edit this until late Saturday night, so I'll still have a tweet, you know, like before the games actually happen to show you guys, you know, what my predictions are, but I'm still going to make them here in this video anyways. But our first Saturday game of the evening is going to be the Washington Redskins, who are sitting 7-7, seven seven, going to take on the Tennessee Titans who are sitting at eight and six now for the team I think is going to be the winner now obviously I, I think the Titans are probably going to be the favorites they're, they're the slightly better team than the Redskins um they have a better shot at making the playoffs uh, as opposed to the Redskins do but I, I feel like Washington still has some fight in them. I don't know. I, what was that quarterback's name? Like Josh Johnson or something like that that came in? That's kind of a, an interesting name, by the way. I don't know. I feel like he could come in and get it done. I still don't feel like... I mean, the Titans have a good defense. That's pretty much it. Their offense has been... It's not that good, okay? Their offense is not good. I don't really think Mar Marcus Mariota is a very reliable or consistent quarterback. I mean, you know, the, the biggest reason why they have won these past two games is obviously because Derrick Henry is just going like literal beast mode on them like he's just going nuts just going for 204 touchdowns just like back to back or what I don't know he's he's playing ridiculous but do I think that's going to continue for this man <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't I don't want to continue to pick the favorites, which would be the Titans here, but I don't really see them going nine and three. I think that the Titans are going to make things difficult for themselves. And I, I feel like the Redskins are not going to go out of it just yet. So I, I think because of that, I feel like Washington is going to be the be the team that wants it a little bit more and is going to be coming out with the win. So I guess I'm going to go with the Redskins here. And then, of course, the Saturday night football game, the 8 o'clock one, is my boys, my team, my Baltimore Ravens. They're sitting at 8-6. and six. Lamar Jackson, he's, like, officially our quarterback of the future now. It's so sad to see it, though. I mean, I saw it on the bottom of the screen last week during the game on Red Zone. It said that, you know, we're expected to part ways with Flacco at the end of the season, which, you know, just, it makes me cry thinking about it. Like, I just don't want to think about Joe Flacco leaving us, going and playing in a different uniform. Like, it's just going to be so weird to see. Like, I don't want to see it, man. I wish he's going to retire 
worth a Raven. I, obviously, I know that's probably not going to happen, but you know, nonetheless, my team, I love my team. They're looking good. The defense is playing insane. We're still the number one ranked defense in the league. Lamar Jackson is just getting things going with that run game on the offense, but the Chargers, they are a tough task, man. They are a really good team. I mean, I don't think anybody saw them going 11-3 and at this point of the season. I mean, especially because they had a lot of injuries at the start of the year, uh, before the year even started, but I mean, obviously, I I'm not going against my team. I'm picking my Ravens. The, obviously, I, I mean, I shouldn't even have to say that, but I really do think that we can win this game, man. Our, our defense, if they play good enough, and if our offense plays good enough we limit we, we like you know keep our turnovers to a, a very small amount I do think that my Ravens can come out with the big time upset so next up now we have our Sunday games and the first one on the list is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals sitting at six and eight they are going to take on the Cleveland Browns who are sitting at six seven and one now I definitely should have picked the Browns last week I knew it I, I was going to and for some stupid reason I didn't and that costed me a, a loss, you know, that would have only put me down by one game for Mad 19 on our records instead of two right now. But anyways, I I'm still going to be sticking with Cleveland once again, okay? I'm going back to them. I should have picked them last week, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm picking them this week. I'm giving them redemption. I mean, the Bengals, they're a banged up team, obviously. You know, I, I don't have to say this again because I said it before, but Andy Dalton, AJ Green, two of the biggest players on offense. They're out. They're on IR and whatnot. And the Cleveland Browns, for some weird reason, somehow still have a shot to make the playoffs, which is insane. If the Browns make the playoffs, I'm not going to know what life is anymore, but I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. They're going to lose next week to my Ravens, but this week they will keep hopes alive and they are going to beat the Bengals in our division. And uh, I, I think since it, or I think Cleveland is going to end up actually, yeah, after this week, we'll have a better re record than the Bengals. They will be seven, seven and one. Next, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are sitting at now 5-9, and nine, going to take on the Dallas Cowboys at home. They are sitting at 8-6. and six. The Cowboys, man, everybody thought they were this glorious team, man. The defense is playing insane. The offense is just all of a sudden revamped with Amari Cooper, and I knew it wasn't good, man. I, I, I was sitting here, like, saying, yeah, I know the Cowboys can win a couple games and whatnot, whatnot, but they just got shut out to the Colts. So, like, yeah, just sit there and let that sink in. However... I think they're going to bounce back here. I, I don't think they're going to lose home to the Buccaneers. I mean, overall, they, they, they still are a good team. I mean, obviously, that offense is driven by Zeke. Nothing but Zeke, okay? That's it. That offense is Ezekiel Elliott, not Dak Prescott. And that defense. The defense is very young and still very good. And uh, I, I think they will have a bounce back week this week. So I'm going to be going with Dallas. Now we've got a pretty interesting game here. We've got the Minnesota Vikings, 7-6-1, taking on their division opponent, the Detroit Lions, sitting at 5-9. Now, the Lions are home, which is a slight advantage, uh, but the Lions could definitely be playing like the upset guys here. I mean, obviously, the Vikings, they're not like a shoe-in for the playoffs yet. I'm pretty sure they still need to like win you know, one or two, if not both of their last games, to make sure they make that wild card spot. Obviously, they're not winning the division. But, you know, the Lions, like I said, could play upset here, make the make the Vikings lose and make it even harder for them to get that wild card spot. Do I think that's going to happen, though? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so, man. I mean, the Vikings are looking a lot better. Their defense is performing a lot better with Dalvin Cook back into that offense. Things are going a, a lot smoother as well. So I, I think I'm going to be having to go with the Vikings getting the win. Next up, we have the Buffalo Bills sitting at 5-9, and nine, going to take on the New England Patriots, who are sitting at 9-5. and five. Now, this is uh, an easy call here. I don't feel like we have to waste a whole lot of time. Obviously, the Patriots are going to be the, the winners of this game. I, I don't see them losing. Uh, Bill Belichick, you know, he, he's probably sitting there like a little pissed off. He probably fired a couple of guys last week after, you know, losing to the Steelers because that was just, that was a crazy game. I, I'm really disappointed in the Patriots, man. They were supposed to beat the Steelers so that my Ravens will be a lead of the division this week. But nonetheless, I, I, I see the Patriots bouncing back there. They're obviously, you know, a top contender in the AFC still, and uh, they're trying to, you know, get a better position in that playoff, you know, get a higher up seed, and I don't see them trying to fall here to the Bills, so I, I think they definitely get an easy win. And now we've got my man Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers sitting at 5-8-1, and one, officially out of playoff contention, going to take on the New York Jets sitting at 4-10, and 10. and... Guys, some of you are probably going to call me biased or something like that. Some of you guys are probably going to call me out on it or something. But, uh, of course, I'm still going to be picking my guy Aaron Rodgers, okay? I, the, the guy is still a playmaker. He, he's Aaron Rodgers, okay? That name right there just automatically means you have a really good chance of winning a game. He, he, he's still playing. Obviously, he's a little bit banged up. He's still got some pieces on offense. And I think going against, like, a rookie quarterback like Sam Darnold, the defense for the Jets isn't that bad. But overall, I, I, I still think, you know, that Packers offense is playing a lot better since McCarthy has been fired. So I am going to be going with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers once again. Next is the Houston Texans sitting at 10-4, and four, going to take on the Philadelphia Eagles sitting at 7-7. Seven and seven. Now, last week, 
I told you guys how I wasn't a part of that bandwagon, how Nick Foles is going to take this Eagles team back to the playoffs and even Super Bowl, which the fact that he beat the Rams last week was just like, uh, it made me want to throw up. Like, it was just stupid. Like, how do the Eagles, how does Nick Foles come in there and beat a team like the Rams? Like, it's just, it was really frustrating to see. Like, it just, it's stupid. It shouldn't happen. Like, I just, it doesn't make sense. Now, once again, I feel like this should not happen. They should not beat the Texans. Now, yes, the Eagles have a little bit more drive in them, I guess. You know, they, they, they still have a chance to win their division, make the playoffs even. They're sitting at home. So I feel like, yes, the Eagles are going to play a pretty decent game. But overall, I just don't want them to win. And I don't think they're going to win. I, I hope they don't, at least. And I think the Texans are a much overall better team. And I think that they can get the job done here. So I think I'm going to be going with Houston and seeing them go 11-4. and four. Now we've got two teams who previously used to be like a top of their division. They're all the way at the bottom now. The Falcons sitting at 5-9 and nine, going to take on the Carolina Panthers who are sitting at 6-8. and eight. Now as for my choice of who I think is going to win this game... I think I might be going with the Panthers and their, their young quarterback who they're starting. Obviously, you guys know that Cam Newton got shut down. He's done for the rest of the season. And they're starting this guy. I think his name's Taylor like Henneke. I, I might be saying that wrong. I'm not 100% sure. But I, I kind of like the kid. I, I feel like he's going to be able to, you know, come out in his first career start and, and get a big win here. You know, get a bounce back game for the Panthers. Give him some hope. I, well, not, not hope, obviously. But give him, like, I guess a little bit of encouragement. Be like, hey, guess what? We, we got ourselves a win. We're not going to, you know, just completely lose out on our season. I, I do think that the young man is going to be able to get his team uh, a win here in his first start at home next is the new york giants sitting at five and nine going to take on the indianapolis colts who are sitting at eight and six now the colts obviously are hot off of that big shutout that they got against the cowboys that was a pretty good game to see um i feel like i'm going to be going with indy i i mean they're a pretty good team they're playing all around really well i mean they're they're home right now their defense is really good they got a pretty young defense as well andrew luck has just been playing pretty good obviously you know that injury didn't uh, didn't phase him it, it just took a long time for him to recover but he's back andrew luck is back and so are the Colts. I think I'm going to be going with them. You know, Odell's still questionable, might not play once again. And uh, I, I still think, nonetheless, that the Colts are going to be able to squeak in uh, to the postseason, maybe. I, it's going to be pretty tough. Obviously, that wild card spot is, is going to be like, it's going to be close. There's going to be like a, a team with a decent record that's not going to make it. And it could be the Colts, but I do think they're going to win this week. Now, the Jacksonville Jaguars are sitting at 4-10, and 10, going to take on the Miami Dolphins, who are sitting at 7-7. Seven and seven. Now, this is going to be, I don't know if I would say this is my wild pick of the week. I don't think it's necessarily wild, because the Dolphins, I, I still don't really think they're like a, an amazing team. I mean, they're 7-7. Seven and seven. Yes, they have 7 wins. Yes, they're almost, you know, in playoff berth. But, like, I'm looking at NFL.com right here, and they literally are ranked 29th in offense and 30th in defense. How is a team with those stats on the verge of making the playoffs? No clue. Don't ask me. I don't have these answers, but I think that the Jaguars are going to play spoilers here. I don't see the Dolphins being a team that makes the playoffs, and they got to lose at some point, right? In these last two games, I mean, I guess they don't have to because they could win out, but still the other teams ahead of them could win. But nonetheless, I, I think the Dolphins might possibly get like the, the boot here. They might, you know, if they lose this game, which I do think, so I'm going to be going with the Jaguars. This is a, a officially going to knock them out of the playoffs. The Los Angeles Rams sitting at 11-3, one of the best records in the league, going to take on their division opponent, the Arizona Cardinals, sitting at 3-11. Obviously, the, the Rams are going to win this game. If they fall to the Cardinals, that would just be absolute madness. I mean, again, life wouldn't make sense if they did. Uh, I feel like they easily have to win this game. Hopefully, David Johnson does a little bit of something because I'm in my fantasy football Super Bowl, so I kind of need him to do a little something for me. But uh, obviously, the Rams, they, they got to be the winners of that game. Next, we have the Chicago Bears, who are sitting at now 10-4, and four, going to take on the San Francisco 49ers, who are sitting at 4-10. and 10. And this, my friends, is going to be my wild pick of the week, okay? I'm going to go, yes, with the 49ers. I, I know that there's probably some of you guys out there that might be Bears fans that watch. I know there's at least one of you out there, and you're probably so tired of me picking against the Bears because I've done it all year. They continue to prove me wrong and always win games. I've picked them a little bit this year, and they, and they paid off for me. But I don't know, for some reason... I just feel like this Bears team will lose. I don't know. The Niners have been, you know, handing a couple of teams losses here and there. Obviously, they started off the season pretty bad, but they've managed to have four wins up until this point. I don't know. I feel like they could play spoilers once again like they did for the Seahawks last week. And I guess, I don't know, man. I, I got to go bold here. I guess I'm going to be going with the Niners. Next, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers sitting at now 8-5-1. I hate Pittsburgh, man. Like, well, well, they should have lost last week to the Patriots. They're going to take on the New Orleans Saints this week, who are sitting at 12-2. and two. Now, my choice this week, I'm going with the Saints. Saints, if you guys let me down, and if you do not beat these Steelers, 
I'm going to be so pissed off. I'm going to be so butthurt to see these Steelers win because the Steelers, they've been on the losing streak, right? They've got injuries. Their defense is not very good. It's just like they, they, they win game. Like they lost to the Raiders, right? Like how do you lose to the Raiders when you're the Steelers? But then you come out and you beat the Patriots. Like just how does that make sense? And like it would be so Pittsburgh for them to come out and beat the Saints here, which if that happens, like I said, I'm just going to be, I'll be triggered. I'm going to be so mad, but obviously I need them to lose. I want my Ravens to be the division leaders of this season. So the Saints, I'm rooting for you guys, man. I'm pulling for you. Saints, if you do not come through for me, we're going to have some problems. And for Sunday Night Football, we have the Kansas City Chiefs who are sitting at 11-3 going to take on the Seattle Seahawks who are sitting at 8-6. Now, this is a big game for, for me personally because in my Fantasy Football Super Bowl, uh, my opponent has quite a few Seahawks players because they're a Seahawks fan. I also have uh, a couple of players in, in, these, in this game as well between the Chiefs and the Seahawks. So this is uh, this is going to be a big game here. This is like the final like like hoorah at the end of the night, like the final game. This will decide if I win my Fantasy Football Super Bowl or not. But as for the winners of this game... I'm going to be going with the Chiefs, okay? I think Seattle is going to struggle a little bit more. I see Kansas City getting their 12th win of the season here. The, you know, 12th win going against the 12th man right here in Seattle. I don't know if that, you know, maybe that might be a sign right there that they end up winning this game. But I'm going to be going with Kansas City beating Seattle at home and possibly missing the playoffs. They're just kidding. Okay, obviously Seattle will probably win next week. and They'll, they'll go like 9-7 and seven and whatnot, but they'll, they'll still make the playoffs, but I think they're going to lose this week. And last but not least, we have Monday Night Football with two teams that nobody cares about because their seasons are officially over. Uh, I'm sorry, Denver and Oakland fans. That was that was a little harsh, not going to lie. Anyways, we have the Denver Broncos who are sitting at 6-8 and eight going to take on the Oakland Raiders who are sitting at 3-11. and 11. For my choice, though... I'm going to be rocking with Oakland once again. The team has been playing slightly better, even though the record doesn't show it. Uh, I, I do think that John Gruden's going to finish out the season kind of strong. Obviously, he started with like, what, one or two wins throughout how many weeks of the season. But, you know, he, he's sitting at three wins now. He beat the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers just two weeks ago. And uh, I think at home here uh, against a very, very banged up and injured Broncos team, he's going to get himself a win. And there you guys have it. There are my predictions for week 16 of the season. But of course, I've got to show you guys Madden 19's predictions. I'll make this very quick, though, because I know this video has already been pretty long. Uh, but to start things off for our Saturday games, we do have the Redskins and the Titans. They're also going to be choosing their Redskins along with us. And for my Ravens and the Chargers, they're also going to be choosing my Ravens. That's pretty interesting to see. Next, for the Bengals and the Browns, they're actually going to be choosing Cincinnati to be the team that comes out on top against Cleveland, shutting down their playoff hopes. Okay, for the Buccaneers and the Cowboys, they're going to be choosing the Buccaneers to come out here and beat Dallas, taking two losses back-to-back. -back. Interesting to see. For the Vikings and the Lions, they are also going to be choosing the Vikings along with us, uh, them beating the Lions. For the Bills and the Patriots, of course, they're also going to be choosing the Patriots. For the Packers and the Jets, they are going to be going against us here and choosing the home team, which obviously is the New York Jets. And for the Texans and the Eagles, they are going to be also siding with us, choosing Eagles to, to lose this game and going with the Houston Texans. For the Falcons and the Panthers, they're also going to be siding with us once again and choosing the home team, which is the Panthers, to come out on top. For the Giants and the Colts, they're going against Indy, the hot Indianapolis Colts right now, and going to choosing the Giants. For the Jaguars and the Dolphins, they're going to be uh, choosing the same as us, once again, picking the Jaguars to win. And for our last four games, we have the Rams and the Cardinals. They are wisely choosing the Rams to win this game for the Bears and the 49ers. They're also choosing the 49ers to get the upset against the Bears with us. Okay, interesting to see. For the Steelers, and the Saints they have Pittsburgh beating the Saints I swear Saints don't let me down here you better not let Steelers win this game for the Chiefs and the Seahawks they have the Seahawks being the team that comes out on top they're going to beat the Chiefs at home that would be interesting to see I don't think the Chiefs are going to take back-to-back -back losses and finally last but not least we have the Broncos and the Raiders they're also going to be choosing the home team which is the Oakland Raiders so there you guys have it man there are our predictions for week 16 of the season this is crunch this is crunch time man like I need to get these games right I hope that I'm more so right than Mad 19 is this week because I, I just don't want to lose this overall series you know I, I've been ahead of Mad 19 this whole year and just like this end up losing and, and they have a better record than me throughout this whole year but football is almost over man we've only got two weeks left and it, it sucks to see the regular season is just it's fading away it takes so long for football to get here and it goes by so quickly so make sure you guys enjoy some football today of course I will catch you all in the next one take it easy guys peace out